Class is back in session for triad students. Well-balanced meals are proven to improve academic performance. While many students eat food provided by the school, there are many who prefer to bring their own lunch. Registered dietitian Lauren Marduz is joining us this morning to talk about some tasty food options for the kids. Good morning, thanks for joining us. Good morning, thanks for having me back. So first things first, why is lunch such an important part of a child's day, especially in school? Yeah, so when, if we think about it, if our brain is looking for calories for food, it can't use those calories to then work on focusing and mm -hmm. staying, paying attention in school and things like that. So if we have regular nourishment throughout the day, it's so much easier for kids to focus and get the good grades that we want them to get. Awesome, so parents who do want to pack their children's lunch, what are some foods that they should consider including? Yeah, so we always wanna focus on four different things when we are packing lunches. We wanna have a grain, we wanna have fruit and or vegetable, we want to have dairy of some sort mm -hmm. and promote that vitamin D and protein. So this display is absolutely beautiful. It's so <laughs> cute. I keep looking at it. Kind of walk through some examples of some possible food items that parents can include in their, their child's meals. Yeah, so these bento style lunch boxes are mm -hmm. really popular right now. Um, so each of these lunches here you'll see have all of those components we were talking about. And lunches don't have to be that standard sandwich, mm -hmm. veggie, potato chips. So right here, we've got um, just a leftover quesadilla, right? There's beans and cheese for our protein in there. We've got a little bit of hummus here and some veggies, cucumbers, and some fruit right here. Mm. Grain right there in that whole grain tortilla. Over here, another like switch on lunch, right? So we've got yogurt for our protein here, some raspberries and grapes for our fruit, carrots for our veggie, and granola for that good whole grain. Mm -hmm. And then for those folks who still want to pack that traditional style lunch, we absolutely can do that. We've got a fun, cute little shape, um, whole grain, peanut butter and jam sandwich. And then we've got some cheese for dairy, good vitamin D, some uh, berries, some hummus, some peppers to really round out that lunch. This is super, super cute. I love this quesadilla idea. What are some foods that parents might want to try to avoid? So we want to avoid um, excess added sugars. So things like sweetened apple sauces. Sometimes mm -hmm. we don't always know that they have uh, added sugars in them. Some jams, we can get them that are not added sugar, which mm -hmm. is great. We can, maybe we're doing a small little thing of uh, chocolate chips here yeah. instead of packing, you know, a sugar laden um, prepackaged food. Mm -hmm. And then very quickly, we've been doing a lot of stories and reports on recalled deli meats. What are some yeah. ideas for families that want to avoid using deli meats at this time? Yeah, so deli meat is the protein, right? So we're going to want to focus on things like hummus for protein, black beans, cheese, yogurt, nut butters, those type of things. You can absolutely pack a well-rounded, healthful lunch without resorting to deli meat. Lauren, thank you so much for joining us this morning. This is absolutely fantastic. If you are interested in any of these ideas, we will have this posted on our website, wfnynews2.com. <laughs>